Is it time yet? In this case, welcome to our second devlog. We make an action combat pixel game called First of Us Fun Place of Eternal Suffering, where you bounce around the enemies with fancy spells. In our first devlog two weeks ago, our game looked like this. The area here just looks like a pretty regular meadow. And we liked it. As a pretty regular meadow, but based on the plot, this place is supposed to be artificially created and full of magic, not just a meadow. We thought about how to communicate this to the player. Also, we needed an art style that is easy to make because we do not have a dedicated artist, but it should still look nice and it should have high visual clarity. And somehow it ended with neon. Why, you might ask. Why is our game neon now? It looks cool. Because it looks cool. Implementing a neon look pretty much is about making the glow post-processing effect work over time. But first we needed to reduce the brightness a bit. We just added a subtractive blended layer over everything. By making it subtractive, it leaves the contrast intact. And we just like the look. We then started adding trails. The small fireballs already had these two rotating trails. We recently added one for the player dash. It even has a little shader to make it smooth in all directions. We liked how these trails turned out. So we just took them and gave them to every character to visualize when they are knocked back. Trails are always super fun because they are easy to make, look good and they help the player track targets. Then we added lights to everyone that wanted one. This could be done with Light2D to nodes and maybe we will do that with Godot 4, but we plan to use a lot of lights and fear performance might take a hit at some point. A good alternative when you don't need shadows or normal maps are additively blended sprites. We added one to most spells and one to show if the player's dash is ready. For the lights that the player can see longer, we have another little shader. This one puts a gradient over the light, so we can have a little color variation. It just looks a bit fancier. An easy way to make something glow without giving it a shader is just to turn its modulate RGB values higher than 1. This is impossible in the editor, but no problem in the script. But the part I like the most are the particle sprays. We just made a simple little particle system, but we varied the velocity and direction based on the knockback the character receives. We turn the spray on for a moment, depending on the amount of damage taken. The particle system is colored based on the character's elemental domain. When a character dies, we turn the particle system on for an additional half second. So with that, we encode a lot of different stuff into that one animation. The nice glow just comes from the modulate. The sprays will likely get their own particle shader at some point, but they look nice enough for now. The background also needed some work and we are kind of unsure about what to do with it. We already added a shader for these holes and wobbly borders in order to make it feel more unreal. For now we decided to make it a bit transparent. We noticed that it is hard to see which tiles are passable, so we gave the tiles with collisions glowing outlines. But they looked strange and unfitting. So we made them wobble a bit to give them more life and applied the background color gradient to them. We are still tinkering with the whole look, especially with the background. Let us know if you like the new art style. Also, we would be glad to hear some cool ideas on how we can improve it. Oh, and we got our first music track. These unbelievably nice and endlessly handsome guys are antimatter mistress. I mean, these guys, of course. They just gave us one of their tracks to use. Let us listen for a bit. This will likely be a boss track soon. You should really go check them out. Their channel is linked in the description. They are so great. Just now we were doing the first version of a character selection, which is kind of almost somewhat done. But we will talk about that when, well, it's not fleeing from us anymore. So yeah, these were active two weeks. Lots of things done, lots of things to do until the demo is ready. 
If you want to see us progress, you maybe should subscribe. In this case, welcome to our second devlog. We make an action combat pixel game. <laughs>